Hi, I'm Supervisor Ed Wareheim, and this public service announcement is to inform our residents about the fact that we will go back to dual stream recycling, and that will take place in January of 2019. In this PSA, you will hear from our environmental and solid waste experts as to why it's necessary to go back to dual stream recycling. So we would hope for your cooperation in this effort to keep Smithtown clean, green, going back to dual stream. Thank you. We recycle for a number of reasons. When we separate material from our trash for recycling, as long as the material is reused, we've reduced the amount of trash and garbage that we have to dispose of. Disposing of garbage, no matter how you do it, has environmental implications, whether it be air quality implications or water quality implications. So by reducing the amount of trash that we have to dispose of, we reduce environmental impact. Perhaps even more important than that is that there are environmental benefits from recovering the material as long as it's reused. When you capture cans or bottles or paper and reuse it to make new products, you're avoiding the need to take raw materials out of the environment, whether it be cutting trees to make paper and cardboard or mining of metals from the ground that has environmental impact. You also have environmental impacts from energy savings. You save a lot of energy making new metal cans out of old metal cans, as opposed to mining material out of the ground and having to smelt it down into metal. So we save a lot of energy. We avoid impacts on groundwater. We avoid air quality impacts. We save trees. Recycling is good for the environment, but People need to understand that recycling is not just the willingness to separate material from our trash and placing it at the curb. Recycling, true recycling, only occurs if we take that material and manufacturers use it to manufacture new items. New standards have been implemented because most of the material across the United States has been going to China, to manufacturers in China where they've been separating the material and using what they can. Unfortunately, a lot of the material put out for recycling was not recyclable, leading to increased costs of separating the material into usable and unusable parts, resulting in a lot of leftover material. The Chinese government has instituted new standards for cleanliness and purity of recyclables that they will allow to come into their country. That's resulted in a need for us to make sure that the material that we separate for recycling is in fact pure, that it's not mixed with things that are undesirable to the manufacturers, and that they're separated. So what's happened is that we're going back to dual stream recycling to make sure that after we make the effort to ask residents to separate things from their trash, that those items are truly recycled, is we want the material that's put out for recycling to truly be recycled 
and made into new products so that we can achieve the environmental benefits that the program is intended to achieve. With the return to our dual stream recycling program, uh, we're asking residents to not place glass out with their recyclables, and there's a number of reasons that we're asking them not to. One of the main ones is that it contaminates the other recyclables due to the nature of it breaking, it's very abrasive. It also poses some health and safety risks for the workers that handle it. When it was placed with paper and the commingled plastics, unfortunately it contaminates the entire load and the market value decreases almost in its entirety. So by isolating it and changing the format and how we collect it and recycle it, we'll be able to maintain a higher quality of recyclables for the paper and cardboard, as well as the plastics and the metal cans that are placed for recycling. So what we're asking is that people begin to separate their glass from their curbside recyclables, and they'll have the ability to drop it off at strategic locations around the town. The town is busy assembling glass recycling pods at the Municipal Services Facility in Kings Park, which is 85 Old Northport Road, Smithtown Town Hall at 99 West Main Street, and the Smithtown Highway Department at 758 Smithtown Bypass. Residents will have the ability to recycle glass by color. We'll have drop-off pods for clear glass, for brown or amber, and for green. And that will enable us to seek hopefully new markets for glass that might otherwise not be recycled the way that we'd like it to be. While glass is separated into different colors, plastics have their own unique qualities. Every plastic container or bottle has a recycling symbol. Plastic is recyclable generally into new plastic products. However, if you look on a plastic container, you'll see the recycling symbol, which is the series of chasing arrows in a triangle. And inside of that symbol, you'll see a number. The number on plastics is either one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. There are a lot of different plastics made for a lot of different reasons in the manufacturing industry to achieve different ends. However, the situation exists that most of the plastic containers that we collect are numbers one and number two. The other numbers are very difficult to separate from the number one and number two plastics. There is a demand from manufacturers for number one and number two plastic to be made into new products. What happens is that if we collect the plastics that are numbers three and above, that's regarded as a contaminant. They have different melting points, they have different chemical properties. It's very difficult for the manufacturers to separate out the plastics numbers three through seven from the numbers one and two. So to ensure that numbers one and two, which are the bulk of plastics, actually get recycled, we're asking people not to put in to their recycling bin anything other than numbers one and two because those are the materials that the manufacturers will reuse to make new plastics. Paying attention to the numbers on the bottom will actually improve the recycling effort and is better for the environment. Okay, so now we know what dual stream recycling is, but what is the best way to prepare these materials so that they are utilized to their fullest? When you're preparing the recyclables to, to come here, the key thing is keep it clean. Uh, the, the cans, we want to have the, the labels off of them, rinse them once or twice, there's no food waste re remaining in it. Aluminum cans, the same thing. Soda bottles, water bottles, just quick rinse them fast. Don't put the cap back on them, leave the cap off. The key thing with paper and cardboard is keeping it dry. If it can stay inside for the day of recycling, that's better off for the people than try to actually recycle in the end. If it contaminate like a pizza box, so like it has oil in it, just throw it away. And when you're in doubt, throw it out. One thing about Smithtown is that all the garbage in Smithtown generated from residents goes into the waste energy plant and it becomes back as electricity. It's not actually landfilled, it's all burned here and generates electric power back to the residents of Smithtown and Huntington. The town of Smithtown is doing everything it can to make dual stream recycling easier for its residents. There's no excuse not to recycle. Residents don't have to go and buy a new uh, garbage can for their recyclables. Residents can use their existing recycling cans. If they do decide to purchase a new one, we ask that it not exceed 32 gallons. 
The town will provide you with a free recycling sticker by visiting the town website at smithtownny.gov or they can contact 631-360-7514 or 631-269-6600. Recycling containers are also available for a small fee at the Municipal Services Facility in Kings Park located at 85 Old Northport Road. Part of the town's comprehensive public awareness campaign includes a town mailer in the form of an annual recycling calendar. And that calendar has important dates for not only your recycling collection, but also your curbside disposals. It also has some important tips on how to recycle better and our household hazardous waste programs, special events that we hold throughout the year at the Municipal Services Facility, and some important tips on disposal for yard waste or construction debris that's residentially generated along with battery disposal, e-waste, and other important waste disposals. For residents come in, there's many things they can do here. When they come here, they can bring metal, as you see over there, they can bring, uh, appliances, refrigerators, anything that's metal. It's free of charge, you can drop it off. They can bring car batteries, small batteries, also free of charge. The big concern is car batteries. We don't want them ending up in the woods or anything like that. Those car batteries can come here, they are sent off to the recycler, and they can be recycled. As far as lithium batteries, the same thing. The alkaline batteries have become where you just throw them in your normal garbage, then go into the landfill, or go into waste energy plants. There's no, no harm, no foul that way. They can bring waste oil here, free of charge. They can bring C&D, which if they're doing a remodeling of the bathroom and they've got some stuff, you know, whether it's a sink or a toilet or bathtub, that can come here, it's six cents a pound, six dollar minimum, and they, they can drop it off here as well. Electronic waste, you can bring that here for free. That's TVs, old printers, uh, old radio equipment, anything like that. We put it together in a container. There's a container on the other side of the building here. Drop it off. We send it out to somebody that's going to recycle for us. Or you can call up and get a free pickup at your house. There's a pickup number you can pick up in your calendar. You can get refrigerators and large appliances we pick up. We'll pick up your electronic waste. Just one phone call. We're there the next day. Each and every day, we all have the choice to recycle. Smithtown's vision is a world in which waste is minimized and natural resources are conserved. Our future depends on it. Across the country, we are changing recycling programs to reflect the reality of the situation. We don't want to just collect material in a feel-good effort. We want to make it a real environmental initiative by collecting material that can truly be recycled and achieving environmental benefits. Change is never easy, but one thing Smithtown residents have always been good at is recycling. We've noticed that over the years that our recycling percentages are typically higher than some of our neighboring municipalities. So we're asking our residents to take a few extra steps to keep Smithtown clean, green, with dual streams.